Jet Air Venture, and we had to stop by the Lisa booth again to have a look at this airplane, the Lisa Akoya. I'm speaking with Vanessa Troyar. I think I've got that fairly close. <laughs> yeah, you have to excuse the American pronunciation of your name, but uh, I'm Dan Johnson, and we wanted to check in and find out how things are going for Lisa in the Akoya airplane. Uh, three years ago, two years ago, you made a big splash here with a mock-up and everybody was having a great time looking at it. And uh, then you needed to go back and find some more funding. You've had some success with that, correct? Yes, we, we, found, we found new investors. So now the company is back on track. We've got all the money to go to the certification and to the first deliveries. And so we started again the flight test and we're good. The airplane behaves very well on the water. What point in the flight testing are you at now, would you say? Uh, we, we've got still some flight tests to do, and uh, we expect to get a certification by 2016. 2016, you yes. think you'll finish that? Right. Okay. And then do you have, have some people already given you some money, uh, deposit money? or? Yes, we, we've got uh, some reservation. We've got about 100 uh, reservation and a little bit of debt. Okay. Um, yeah. That's good. That's I think that's a good performance. Now you found some of your investment from China, I understand. Right. Um, and then what is the expectation there? Will you produce there? Will you produce in France? Uh, give me some of those ideas. Yeah, the production will remain in France. Okay. Uh, and they're working on the market development in China because it might be a huge market. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Everyone will see. There's a lot of yes. anticipation about that, exactly. but uh, but they do have some cash these days, so they were willing to give you some, it, yes. assist you with it. And uh, you feel like you're fully funded now, so you can do everything you need exactly, into yeah. production. In, into production. Okay. Well, that's wonderful. Congratulations on that. I'm sure that's very satisfying. Any changes to the aircraft as you've gone through the uh, certification effort to prove things? Have you, when we looked at it before, we saw a lot of the detail, and you can go back and look at the older videos about that. But have you made any changes? Not really. We made really some optimization on the on the gear um, and on the hydrofoils. Um, now we also sea foils, I believe. Is that what you it, call them? Exactly. Okay. The sea foils. It's a kind of hydrofoils. Um, so yeah, we're all set on that. Uh, we've got to do all the long range uh, flight tests. We've done some already, but we've got to, to do some more. Uh, we've still got to do the spin test and uh, yeah, test like that. Okay, and you're sticking with the Rotax engine that you used before? Yes. We're I suppose you go with the new Sport now to get that extra boost? Exactly, yeah. It's we, uh, very good for seaplanes, isn't it? It's like they did that just for you almost. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But with um, Rotax 912, we are, we, we've got already really good performance on water thanks to the hydrofoils. Yeah, that's interesting how they kind of lift the airplane up out of the water, which then can, I, I assume, accelerate the run to take off. Is that correct? Yes, we've got a um, distance of uh, 650 feet to take off. Okay. And the main advantage is that we don't need to have uh, like a boat looking hull. So the, I, I would because like of the sea foil. Yes. So uh, yes, because you have quite a smooth hull, and I remember some people looking at that and going, "No, that's not going to work uh, because they're they're used to seeing the little chines or, uh, or or creases in the hull, however you call those." But your sea foils are doing that job for yeah, you. Exactly. So we don't need to, to climb on the step, and um, and then the aerodynamic of the airplane is much better than conventional and Sure. Okay. Well, very interesting. All right, Vanessa. So you're going to uh, complete the certification in 2016 does that mean a couple more years before you can sell airplanes or will you achieve this earlier we we, we will do we will deliver our first airplane in 2016 so just after getting the certification okay so that means you must be working on production uh, things at the same time that you're finishing up certification work is that correct yes right okay, excellent and and uh, now, in the there's there's two certification bases that I'm sure you have to use. One in Europe, which is it relies on ASTM, but it's somewhat different. It has some other requirements. And then there's the U.S. system, which I know you are familiar with. You plan to meet the U.S. system as well? Yes, we are carrying both certification at the same time. So the CSLSA so you'll do special, for Europe. You'll do special light sport aircraft yes, here, and the US. then meet the it's called certification standard light sport aircraft, or everyone just abbreviates that to CSLSA in Europe. And that means you have to pass some other requirements there will you work all to yourself doing this or will you enlist some partners to get that or we we've got a, um, a network of subcontractors uh, in Europe in France and Italy for the for the production so we would work with them for the DOA and POA okay yeah design organization approval production organization right. approval they're not small things they're they're pretty no. 
uh, robust systems you have to prove. So yes. that takes some extra time. You'll do the U.S. first then. Exactly. Which you can use in some other countries, Australia for one and some others, uh, right away then. Yes. So then with the you. European certification and the American certification, we will be able to deliver almost worldwide. Yes, and uh, I know China has some of their own requirements, but right. uh, they're achievable if you meet the ASTM. So exactly. that's kind of the pivot thing. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, uh, then uh, in the USA, when you sell in the U.S., will you sell direct? Will you sell through dealers? Do you have thoughts about that? But we we are planning to uh, have a subsidiary in, uh, in the U.S. Uh, so we can be closer to our customers and we will have also additional dealers and a big, ne big network of service centers as we do include all the services in our price we need to have people to train ah, our see, customers. That's included in the price yes. then, okay, right. <laughs> yes, you've got, a, you've got a pretty good price so it's good you include lots of things with it and, uh, and we'll look for that. Well, that's a lot of information, Vanessa, but people always want to know more and those that want to follow you would like to know where to go. We'll put it on the screen for people, but give us your web address. It's www.lisa-airplanes.com. Uh, okay, very good. Well, talking today at Air Venture with Vanessa Troyar, and I'm Dan Johnson. Thanks for all that information. Lots more about the Lisa airplane, other lots of other light sport aircraft available on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining us here at Air Venture Thank Oshkosh. Thank you. <laughs>